Hey there, I'm CBS4 meteorologist Ashton Altieri with you in Colorado's Weather Center. So we've had a lot of questions lately about the upcoming fall colors and how the drought in the state may have an impact on those fall colors. And I'm here to tell you there's not going to be a huge change, but maybe just enough of a change you may notice. First, here's a review of the drought. We have the vast majority of Colorado experiencing at least moderate drought, 98%. Everywhere you see the browns and the oranges and the reds on this map, which is virtually the whole state. 93% of Colorado uh, now experiencing severe drought. That includes the entire Denver metro area. And then 36% of the state has extreme drought in these areas shaded in the red color, which does include most mountain areas, especially west of the Continental Divide. So how will that change the fall colors? And let me just first say it's not going to change much. These are the average dates for the northern, central, and southern mountains in the state. And while we may see a little bit of a change, you can still expect these general dates to be true. Now, one thing the drought does do is put a lot of stress on the aspen stands. And therefore, what we may see is the colors peak a couple of days early compared to average. So, for example, if you're going to be heading up the I-70 mountain corridor to check out the fall color this season, the average date or the window there is September 18th through the 29th. So this year, if you're going on a weekend uh, for this, I would highly recommend going the weekend of the 19th, 20th versus the weekend of the 26th, 27th, for example. Because again, the peak could happen just a little earlier than usual because of the stress that the drought uh, has put on the Aspen stands in the state, and that's true north and south. Generally speaking, the drought has been a little bit worse over the southern mountains long term than it has over the northern mountains. So if you're thinking north or south, we'd recommend staying more north, you know, north of Highway 50 or north of Interstate 70 see the best color. The other thing that may happen is the colors may be a little bit more dull compared to usual. I mean, you're still going to get a spectacular show, but maybe not quite as many reds. What we need is a lot of sunny, sunny days uh, ahead of us that will help there to be more red instead of just yellow and uh, orange, which of course helps make the whole show a whole lot better.